So in the previous video I showed how you can make a really 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 short and simple sketch which is showing you the bouncing ball by using the uh, library. And in this way, if you're teaching people and you want to hide the complexity of certain implementation of movement and you just want to focus just on them having fun and playing around, you have to make your own library. So now I'm going to show you how you can make this library simplicity, which is actually a way over here, as you can see in the tab called uh, simplicity. So first, let's um, close the tab. I'm not going to say any changes. Now let's take a look where the library, the processing is actually keeping libraries. It's keeping them in the sketchbook folder. So if you open the sketchbook folder, you go to your documents, and then there will be a processing directory. So you can see that over here there is this folder libraries. These are my folders like uh, where I keep my sketches because I prefer to keep them uh, in the folders which are uh, by, by month. These are my July sketches in June. You probably see in this folder just your old, all of your sketches. And then it has modes and uh, it has tools and it has uh, libraries. So, libraries now has the simplicity library. I'm going to delete it now. You can see that I'm not running PD instance, so I can delete safely this library. Nothing bad is going to happen. Except that I'm not going to have this library anymore. Library anymore. And um, uh, I'm going to minimize this window. So, how to make your own library? The simplest way is to use the um, template which I made. So you go to my uh, GitHub page, you go to the click on the repositories, you type simplicity, and it, it appears now as the first one, but obviously if you try it later, it can be not the first one. So you click on the simplicity, this opens you the page with my repository to the simplicity template. And uh, if you don't know anything about GitHub, you don't have to, you just click download zip and that's it. So you download zip, you can see here that the zip is downloaded, it's a small file. You open the zip and now you can actually close and uh, browse if you don't need it. And now it's a very simple, you just take the template and just uh, untap your desktop. I would actually recommend using the desktop, especially in the beginning, so it's going to be very simple. And if you look at this template, simplicity library template, you can see that there are a few files and few folders. The folders you're going to be working with is the SRC, the source, where you're going to be writing your source of your library in Java. And then these two files, WinDisk and WinMake, these are the scripts which are going to automatically com compile your sketch. So, uh, and there is also a couple of these directories, bin, disk, and loop are just like technical, they're going to contain intermediary files, you, you're not going to be working with them directly. So SRC and these two files, that's all you're going to need. But before you start making library, you have to do a few things. First of all, make sure you copy into lib directory files core jar and RT jar from your processing distribution. This is the lib directory. You're not going to be using it except that this very one single time. So you have to copy from your processing distribution. This is your processing distribution. This is where all your files are. And um, you open it and you go to the core directory and you have library and there is this core file. So you just use copy and you just click here and you just paste it here. And then you go here and you go up and up and then you go to the Java folder, to the lib folder, and here you have to find file called RT. And you just copy it as well, you can close here and you can paste the file here. Remember not to cut those files or to move them, because if you cut or move them, your processing distribution will stop work. So you need to copy uh, copy them, exactly. So now, the first half of the thing is done. Uh, and before, be sure to change the library destination path inside WinDisk bot to the libraries folder within your sketchbook folder. What does it mean in the human language, in the plain English? It means there is this file WinDisk, it's actually WinDisk bot, but you don't see the extension because Windows hides it. And uh, you have to change the destination, library destination path. The idea is that when you make the library, the library is going to appear in this disk directory. But obviously, you, if it's, if it's just, just there, it's not going to appear in your processing um, PDE environment. So you want to copy it from here to the processing PDE. And that's what this automatical script does. So, um, but it doesn't know where on your machine you have the libraries stored. 
So as we were looking at our libraries folder, remember that's where the libraries were. That's the users, uh, your username, document folder, and processing library. That's this folder, and that's you just enter this folder and just click anywhere here and just do copy, and then you have to open it. Uh, right click on the link disk, edit. Windows is gonna sh show you this, you just click more info, run anyway. So we open this link disk, and here it says as well, it repeats what you need to do. Here you must specify path for your libraries folder. Yeah, we know that there, that's the libraries folder. Yeah. Inside your processing schedule directory, that's what we did. And here you specify it, here it is, over here. This one is the old path, you delete it, and here you paste your own path. If you have a different username, you can have a username like, I don't know what's your name, John, uh, John C, or whatever it's gonna be. But in my case, as I said, it's like this. And remember that you need quotes over here. Remember there shouldn't be any spaces to the left between here, and there shouldn't be any spaces over here. So it should be exactly like this, 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 and this. No extra spaces where they shouldn't be and the, your full path is in quotes, so remember that. So then you go file, save, and you're done. So basically, that's it. You are ready to compile your first library. And to do that, you just call WinMake. And again, Windows will ask you, are you sure? Yeah, I am sure. And it's just creating compiles, zero means everything, no zero errors, and creating jar, and it's everything perfect, everything is right you have compiled the library. But now the library is just here in the dist folder. It's not yet plugged into the processing. And we can take a look. Yeah, the library folder of the processing is empty. There's nothing there. So now we call the win disk and it just does copies. Two files copied perfectly. Everything is okay. And now if you look at the libraries folder, it will have this Subfolder simplicity and library and the simplicity jar file and all the uh, bits and pieces. So that's as easy as it is. Now you have to start PDE. And once you start it, you can actually see already that when you go to input library, it shows you simplicity. So you can actually, uh, we can actually open our example, simple ball. And actually, now it's gonna run because it is it has a library. So that's as easy as it is to compile the library from the template.